Well, hello, stranger. So, I recently watched a promo by Thomas Sheridan where he's advertising an event he's got coming up in February. And he's talking about the evolution of consciousness. So, first of all, I just wanted to recap some of what he mentions in this video. He says that people are politically and socially waking up. Epigenetics has shown that with every thought, we create a new neural network in the brain. The frontal cortex of the brain has tripled in size over the last 5 million years, and it happened almost overnight in evolutionary terms. And then he ends by saying that our self-realized neuroplasticity is the key to expanding our consciousness. For those who don't know what epigenetics is, essentially it's where a gene expression is changed by a non-genetic adaptation, so for example an environmental cause. And I commented that if epigenetics can be seen as the adaptation to new environments, then human evolution can be bootstrapped by technocultural evolution. We are creating new neural pathways together through this hyperconnected digital medium. The internet is the substrate of our collective evolution. I'm sure many of us could agree that the World Wide Web has triggered the greatest democratizing process since the invention of the printing press. And again, it takes me back to my last vlog when asked what I foresee as the sort of sociological trends um, that innovation, the sort of rhizomatic innovation, is outpacing institutions' ability to react. And I think the real transformative power is in self-organizing networks which are able to harness collective intelligence. Another thing I just wanted to touch upon here was the New Age and transhumanism. And I know I mentioned very briefly in my video on narratives uh, that I think a lot of the New Age rhetoric of oneness and higher awareness can be understood as a response to the spread of communication technology across the world and an emergence of planetary culture. And it seems a bit ironic to me that people who are afraid of transhumanism are failing to realize that their higher awareness, if you like, has come about through exposure to information that they would not be privy to if they didn't have access to communication technology. And I mean, as I'm sure people can appreciate, we are already post-human to some extent. I mean, even the ability for people to use cellular devices to make telephone calls in a way as a form of telepathy where people can transmit their thoughts um, through space and time. And I think if we actually look at some of the metaphors that are used by the New Age, you can see that they do appropriate to digital era. Um, I mean, with all this talk of like beings of light and um, different dimensions and so on, like um, in uh, Aaron Fran's book, uh, Revolve, he, he picks he picks this up, like with Barbara Marciniak, um, where she's got this quote that what is happening upon this planet right now is the literal mutation of your physical body, for you are allowing it to be evolved to a point where it will be a computer that can house this information. And uh, then I just wanted to think again with the New Age stuff that there's a lot of people this year who are expecting some kind of alien disclosure. And I mean, I'm open minded to there being intelligent life elsewhere in the cosmos. I don't have a problem with that. But I think, as other people have expressed, that it's knowing when you found alien intelligence. I mean, from a species point of view, we're the most alien thing on this planet, um, purely by the fact that we have language. And uh, then just another thing to sort of tie up with the transhumanism thing is that um, I think it's a mistake to think that, that we will create a new species that is separate from ourselves. Um, again, there was an excellent article by TechCrunch that was published yesterday called The Internet is People. And essentially it's getting at the interplay of humans and computers that actually augment each other and we're sort of amplifying each other's understanding. The algorithms and the sort of human neuro neurology are complementing each other. And um, I mean, it seems logical to me, well, I could be off the mark here, that um, that the internet will be the first artificial, will be recognized as the first artificial general intelligence, in which case you and I are already part of this emerging superintelligence.